Hi, this is Julie with Skunk Magazine and the Highway, and I'm here on behalf of the Mickey Martin Memorial Fund. Uh, we lost a great fighter recently in Mickey Martin, and I have some incredible fellows here who worked with him in uh, Boston, in Massachusetts, uh, people that were very close to uh, him and were inspired by him. Um, and so, you know, today I have Phil Hardy here. Uh, Phil, you worked with Mickey at the Northeastern Institute of Cannabis, and you were inspired to go on to do more work in the community and be more of service. And that was the thing with Mickey, that he really, um, he told it like it was. He held nothing back. He kept it real. He kept it real. Yeah. You know, I, I met him in 2013. He was running the Cannabis Knowledge Forum, talking about opening up the school in Massachusetts. Um, I thought it was a great idea. A year later, in 2014, he made it happen, and I was one of his first interns to help him get it up and going. And, uh, he opened a lot of doors. With that, now I'm um, running the Boston Freedom Rally, heading up the music committee, I'm a music director. With his megaphone. Yeah. He, um, in 2014 was when he really inspired me. I heard his speech about like we likes weed, good person, and um, you know, hearing his story about how he got raided, it really, really inspired me to step up. And from there, I've just been moving on. And now I run probably the biggest cannabis event in the East Coast, with along with Mass Can. Yeah, and we have. Hi, Bill Flynn. I'm the uh, president of Mass Cannabis Reform Coalition, and meeting Mickey Martin at, for uh, 2012 when Massachusetts was doing the medical. Uh, he led a march for, down from the state house down to the Department of Health, and I don't think without meeting Mickey, I don't think I would have met Phil or, or Keith here. And what they brought to the Boston Freedom Rally is just made it so huge it's it's incredible and just getting the education out which was led by Mickey which Mass Can has been doing for the past 28 years but just him getting involved in that too just gave it an extra boost to it and it's just taken off we're now a three-day event it's the largest free event on Boston Common he planted a seed you know, of his passion yeah. And he lit you guys all up again to go at it again exactly. in a whole new way. Exactly. It just gave more, of, you know, a breath of fresh air say, to it. it. Gave it new life. And like I said, we've taken it to the next level. And yeah. It's awesome. And then we have Keith Raymond here. I'm Keith Raymond from Budography. Uh, much like Phil, I spent my early years at the school as an intern where I had the opportunity to meet Mickey uh, in passing a few times. Uh, I was definitely affected by his opening the school in general on the East Coast really brought something out there, uh, brought a lot more activists as well as brought more, a lot more attention to the cannabis industry in Boston as well. Uh, and I'm just thankful that I had the opportunity to attend there as an intern and uh, meet Phil as well as Bill. Uh, it's been impactful in my life forever. It's made me follow my dreams and really want to be a part of the cannabis industry as a whole. And you came out with this special book for Chalice. Yeah, but our team has developed some patient journals uh, for Chalice. We are an official product sponsor. Uh, basically, there's an opportunity, it was in the judges' packs, so it was an opportunity for judges to keep track of the medication that they were using. Uh, we had great feedback on that, people uh, want to keep track of the medicine that they're using uh, in an effective way. So we launched an interactive website as well, too, if you want to create your own Canada database, uh, we hope to share it with you. So, Mickey has definitely left a place of, you know, the, uh, the fire starter, the one that got everybody out of their doldrums, the one who basically told you if you were an asshole and needed to hear it. He was willing and courageous enough to say so, even if it wasn't unpopular, uh, even if it was hard uh, for people to hear. And there's still people pissed, but it doesn't matter because he's obviously done his work to inspire people and invigorate people, and he's going to be sorely missed. Uh, sorely missed. Yeah, he left the whole up in Massachusetts. Yeah, there's a lot of sadness still. And you brought uh, a donation today. If we want to um, encourage people to donate to the Mickey Martin Weed Warrior Fund, he helped raise a lot of money for parents, parents incarcerated wrongly in this weed war. 
um, children left without one parent, uh, children not able to celebrate Christmas. He fought hard and he told the people in the cannabis industry with the money to say, hey, this is blood money. It's time for you to cough up and start uh, getting behind what's really important about this cannabis war, about this war for freedom. It was him. And, uh, and we're definitely going to miss that uh, in the industry. Um, and we all have a lot of work to do to uh, keep fighting for those right things. You guys want to say anything else before we go? Uh, just, you know, Mickey always is one to step up. I just ask that everyone do the same. You know, every little bit you can donate to help out his family. Greatly appreciated. Yeah, and continue would, to support Parents for Pot. Yeah, he would, he would do the same for us. So just ask that we keep it going and support his family. He's got two young kids that need our help now. And, you know, Mickey helped us all to get where we are. And we've raised so far, uh, how much is the final count now? I, think, I know it was up at 36000 I think we're closer to forty now, but we still got a long way to go. It's just um, the beginning. Yeah. Yes. The goal is 100000 so we can all stand together now and support uh, another family in need in this war. Right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much, guys. Thanks for having me.